It's been nearly a year since the tornado ripped the roof off this local church. Since then, renovation and repair of the building in New Kensington has been on hold, but that's about to change. Ross Gadotti is live with the plan to bring the house of worship back. Ross. All right, Ken. Yeah, Bishop Larry Kulik tells me the rebuilding process of St. Mary of Chestahova will be an intense and long and complex process, but he says it's something that must be done. As dawn broke April 8, 2020, sunlight would reveal what happened in the dark of night to St. Mary of Chestahova's Catholic Church in New Kensington. The roof of uh, the church was blown off, and I said, you've got to be kidding me. An overnight tornado and its monstrously strong winds, the reason for all of this. And I couldn't believe the amount of devastation that had occurred. But the tornado was just the beginning of weather woes for the church and those trying to save it. It was storm after storm, and the plastic that we were using to cover the sheets of tarping just kept blowing off. Worries over the ceiling plaster continuing to fall would prompt the diocese to build an enormous scaffold shield around the ornate and antique wooden altar. We were just in the beginning of the COVID lockdown. It was Wednesday of Holy Week, and I thought to myself, my goodness, what terrible devastation, what a terrible time, what a horrible event. But that was then, and this is now. This is the people's church. This is the people's assets. Renovation of the century-old church will now begin in earnest. There is much to be done. The ceiling's holes still need to be patched. The incredible hand-painted murals will be cleaned, and that's just the beginning. The cost of all this, roughly $2.1 million. Insurance will pay for it all. The parishioners, however, will determine what the church will be in spirit and soul as much as brick and mortar. Bishop Kulik asking only this of those bringing the church back to be creative, to be dynamic, to be vibrant. All right, when will services resume at the church? Well, the diocese that has yet says that's yet to be determined. The process, however, to getting to that point has now begun. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.